What is going on guys, Opulent Vision back again with another Road to Sub 20 video. Got a couple quick specifications and then I'll get to the Q&A here. But again, if you had comments or questions for next week, can literally be anything, um, put those in the comment section and then I will answer them. I'm a little bit behind on questions, so these are gonna be from episode nine and then I'll just keep progressively working my way through all the questions. One last thing of specification, a couple of you guys were really confused in my comment section why I am getting sub 20 solves and continuing these series. What I'm going for here is a sub 20 average of 12, um, which I haven't yet achieved. I've been getting like 21, like 20 point something second averages, but anything under sub 20 is what I am looking for. Our first question comes from Cubing on the spot. He had a couple of them here. First question, what editor do you use? He uses Canva. Um, if you're talking about editing videos, I highly uh, don't recommend Canva. I think Canva is kind of difficult to work with for editing videos. Um, if you're on iPhone, I recommend CapCut. I think it's a really good software to use, pretty intuitive, and you can pump out some pretty good videos with their software. I personally use CapCut on the desktop just because there's a lot more options and it's pretty intuitive. But if you have the budget, Adobe Premiere Pro is also really good. It just doesn't work well with, for me, I guess, for filming on iPhone and then trying to go to computer, it's kind of difficult. So I stick away from Premiere Pro uh, personally. His next question was, what is your favorite lube? I really like Speedcube Shop's Candy Cane just because it smells super good. Um, and it's, it's pretty much just like a peppermint smell, but you know, I like it. Question three, uh, what is your favorite PLL? His is the H perm. You know, I'm pretty typical. I love the T perm and the J perm. They're just pretty intuitive to do with your fingers. And I think they're really fun. Pat the Great asks, do you like Zelda games? So this may, well, this isn't going to hurt anybody's feelings, but kind of come as a surprise. I haven't ever played a Zelda game. Well, I guess I used to have one called uh, like Zelda Crossbow or Archery or something like that on the like Wii way back in the day, but that's not like a real Zelda game. Um, I've watched a couple buddies play um, Orkiana of time. I think it's Orkiana. I don't know how to pronounce that. It looked pretty fun. Um, I don't have a Switch or anything, so I was considering getting one eventually just to play some of those games because... I guess their uh, their newer games look pretty dang good. But no, I haven't ever played Zelda, but it looks like a super fun series. Flavored One asks, would you rather get a 3x3 world record single, an average, or get 1 million YouTube subscribers? That's kind of a tough question. It would be really cool to have like the record, but I'd have to go with the 1 million subscribers just because I can make more money to give away to charity and to give away to you guys um, in the form of cubes, which I think that's really fun. So I'd go with 1 million subscribers, but that's a pretty tough decision. Clock Solver asks, why did you choose the Dolphin Cube over something like the V5? And when he says Dolphin Cube, he's talking about the Wave Rider uh, V1 that you see me using in these videos. I don't know. I really like the V5 but something just feels a lot better with the Wave Rider. I think maybe it's a little bit bigger or, you know, I'm not quite sure like the sizing. I'm sure it's like 56, 57 millimeters, somewhere around there, but it just fits better in my hands and I'm a pretty hard turner. So it doesn't really lock up as much as other cubes do when I'm trying to turn or be fast, like especially during F2L, it just doesn't lock as bad for me. So that's why I really like the Wave Rider. Ronald MC Windy says he's around sub 60, so under a minute, um, and he averaged that after like one to two months. So that's that's pretty damn good. Um, he's been working on speed while watching my videos, and he's improved decently, which is awesome. Um, he asks, do you prefer Gatorade or Powerade? I know a lot of people out there prefer Gatorade, but Powerade absolutely has the win for me. I like it because I think they're, well, especially blue. I think their blue flavor is way better than Gatorade. And it just feels less sugary after I eat it or <laughs> drink it. Um, so I do like Powerade. ISMOV asks, do you watch any series? I'm guessing he means TV series, um, which I do not actually own a TV. So I don't watch TV really. 
Um, I've actually been watching a little bit of Star Wars The Clone Wars at my buddy's house. Um, I saw it a really, really long time ago when it first came out, but I'm slowly working my way through it again, which is fun. Also, the new Fallout uh, TV show looks pretty dang good, so I may start watching that. Who knows? But yeah, again, I don't really watch TV, so I just see it whenever I'm at like a buddy's house, but that is that. RRB9233 asks, which budget cube would you recommend for a beginner who just started cubing? Now, this is kind of a tricky subject because it all depends on your budget. I think if you're looking for a cube under $5, I'd say the next cube is pretty good for the money. Um, however, it lacks a lot of options. If possible, step your budget up just a couple more dollars. Under $10, you can definitely get some good cubes. The RS3M 2020 is probably one of the best cubes you can buy, um, especially with a lower budget like that. But again, I'm biased. If you can make a $30 budget work, the Wave Rider V1 is awesome. I haven't seen any other cubers really main this or use it really, but I think it's such a great all around cube with a lot of unique things with it. If you can get it set up right, I think it'd be perfect. But again, Next cube under $5, under $10, the RS3M 2020. And then if you can push it up to $30, the Wave Rider V1. Arish Bondi, I'm sorry, I probably slaughtered that name right there. He asks, do you know full OLL and PLL? Um, I talked about this in the other one, but I'm quickly trying to learn the rest of my PLL algorithms. I've got four left, um, which a lot of my Discord members were surprised at which ones I had left because there are some pretty pretty main mainstream algorithms. Um, but I will be finishing that in the next week or two. Um, it's always hard to like learn new algorithms and then incorporate them into your solves just because you have to like sit there for a second and really think about what you're doing before you even turn it. It's not as intuitive right away. But that's what I know for PLL and then OLL, I still use to look. So that will be next up on the list for me. Happy Gaming asks, what other puzzles do you like solving besides 3x3, three three, um, even non-WCA? I really enjoy solving bigger cubes, like bigger than 7x7. Seven seven. I haven't solved the 8x8 eight eight as much recently, but my 9x9 nine nine and my 10x10 ten ten are some of my funnest cubes ever. Um, and I really wanted to get something a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll get a 15x15 15 15 here um, and then eventually get a 21x21. 21 21. I don't know. It'll all be coming, I guess, in the near future, but uh, bigger cubes, like bigger cubic puzzles, I think are some of my favorite things to solve. And if you're watching the video, um, well, I know some people cube with this on the background, but I'm gonna be solving the tornado cube or the twist cube here as our little like challenge of the week. I really like this puzzle, but um, I was having some issues with tension, so I was locking a ton in my solves, which is not good, but, I ended up solving this around two minutes, which was pretty awesome for me. And then the average I got was 21.99 seconds. So we got a little bit slower over the last week. However, I think it's just because I'm trying to incorporate new algorithms. Hopefully it's just a week that's like one off and I'll continue getting faster as we go. We've got time for one more question here. So Shinju533, longtime supporter of the channel asks, have you ever played Clash Royale? I used to play Clash Royale a ton when it came out, maybe like seven or eight years ago. I really enjoyed the game, but I remember I got into one match where it seemed like my opponent was gaining elixir like twice as fast as me and just shredded my towers. Um, and if you ever played Clash Royale, I'm sure you share the frustration with that. But I ended up deleting it off my phone and never getting the game back ever again. So kind of sad story about that. Will I ever give it another shot? Maybe. Um, low key, I think the game gives me anger issues. <laughs> so I'm trying to stick away from the game a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's the little story with Clash Royale here. So we've got another minute left in this solve, but I just wanted to take a chance to thank you all who made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys for supporting this series. It's kind of getting a little bit... Uh, I guess it's coming a little bit more prominent on my channel, getting close to like five or 600 views per episode, um, which for me, you know, it's not, it's not great, but we keep climbing in the numbers, which is, you know, it's getting better. So I think I'll keep continuing this series in the future, 
But if you made it to this point in the video, comment Wednesday in the comments. So I know you made it all the way through. But with that being said, I appreciate y'all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.